In this video, I'm going to show you one of the best ways to play man coverage in Madden 23 right now. A really good coverage defense that is going to make your man coverage significantly better out of the dollar 3 2 formation. Now, a lot of you are probably running the dollar defense. I've got an entire ebook teaching this defense the ins and outs of what makes it good and how you can make it even better. And so today, I want to talk about my favorite man coverage out of dollar. And uh, the way we're going to do this is we're actually going to take, um, well, you can you can set up your roster however you want to, but what we're going to do in our coaching adjustments, really important, we're going to put our flats on 30, okay? Our flats are going to be on 30. If you're going to put flats to 30, in my opinion, you might as well put your curl flats to fly, five, but you don't have to do that. But that is kind of the foundation or the starting point for how we're going to set this defense up. Also in dollar, you pretty much always want to be base aligned. Um, the, the blitzes work significantly better when you are base aligned. So um, for what it's worth, I'm going to be base aligned. Okay. So I'm um, going to talk about two plays out of the bunch meta that you're going to see if you're running any kind of man coverage. You're going to see bunch trail and you're going to see mesh post. So uh, how do we defend this in, in man? And what we're going to do is create kind of a hybrid coverage. I think that's the key to coverage right now in Madden is to create hybrid coverages, hybrid between man and zone, putting zones in the right spot behind cross mans and things like that. So um, here is the setup for this. Dollar three two our base defense and really the defense I think you should be running every single time if you are running dollar unless you're audibly to match or you're audibly to cover four is DB fire I think it's at least the defense you should come out in okay so uh, we're gonna come out in it you're gonna see it's gonna do that little auto push down to that player what I like to do here is we're going to press and then we're going to manually back off our cloud flats on the outside the cloud flats are going to be if we don't do that let me show you what happens. Um, so if I don't back these guys off in zone, um, what you're going to see is it's the easiest dot in the world. This corner round on the right side will never get played by the zone. As you can see, the 30 yard cloud just cannot get back far enough to be able to defend the corner, which is it's, it's literal whole purpose. Like you want a 30 yard cloud to stop corner routes, crossers, deep sideline routes so that you can feel free to use her in the middle of the field. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to press and then we're going to back these guys off. And what I want to show you is if I run the same concept that I just ran, now you're going to notice that because this cloud flat is backed off 30 yards, he's going to actually play it much better than he did on the play previously. So that's how you get these cloud flats to play really good on the outside. Now, how do we create a hybrid coverage out of this? What I like to do with this is we have 30 yard clouds on both sides so what we're going to do then is our user is going to be this defender right here so this is kind of what we've gotten so far and now we are going to go crazy with man coverage adjustments what i like to do is we're going to man up the slot corner on the running back man up the slot corner on the right on that on that bunch receiver then we're going to take the safety man him up on the slot we're going to man the safety on the left up onto the solo receiver and then we're going to man the linebacker on the right on the tight end so as you can see this is what i do and, and this you when you know what you're doing going into it it makes it you can get this set up uh, i promise you if you work on it you practice it you lab it you know this is what you're going to out of the huddle you can get this place set up pretty quickly okay now, I'm going to show you one other thing you can do to kind of maybe make setup a little easier in just a second. But what you're going to notice here is now one of the best man beaters is this trailer over the middle. Well, I've got a lot of freedom in terms of my ability to use her over the middle of the field. And then everything else is bracketed and bagged to the sideline. Let me take you into instant replay and show you that these 30-yard cloud plots, I actually think these backed off 30-yard clouds are the best zone in the game for stopping um, for stopping. Uh, corner routes so you see here here's a corner route running right into the 30 yard cloud you can't throw that corner route okay uh, the trail route that's super powerful well i'm able to actually help on this trail route and make that you know not as open now this route did get open most people don't put this route on the field to be honest um, but that route did technically beat the man coverage and then the post route uh, the post route over here Really good, but we're bracketed and we have inside leverage. I find that when you man up safety, the safety on the solo receiver, he rarely gets beat over the middle uh, with that skinny post route. Because what happens is another thing that's really important, this is why, in my opinion, not pressing, and also in my opinion, backing or uh, using your safety strategically in coverage this year is really, really helpful. Because the lighter, if you think about it, most people are running short in elite or short out elite. 
And those abilities are going to light up at a before 10 yards, basically. So what's going to happen is if we man them up, and let's say that they, like, for example, if I run, if I run Debo Samuel on a slant, watch what happens here. He lights up, but the defender's not in, he's not even there to get roasted, basically, is what I'm getting at. So when you cross man or you man players up like this and you have help with those clouds, it makes it super effective. Now, uh, let's talk a little bit about how do you make this setup a little easier on yourself? Well, what you can do is you can come out and all you have to do, instead of pressing and then manually backing those guys off on the outside, just individually press the slot cornerback. So what the way we're going to do that is we're going to hit Y or triangle. Um, we're going to go to individual and then we're going to hit the slot receiver um, on that side, which is Calvin Johnson, and we're going to press him. That's it. That we get the same basic pre-snap look where we can send. This is a blitz look, so they have to respect this look. And then what we can do from here is just go through and man up our players like so. And now we're in the same defense. Now, I really like to blitz my user. I think it's kind of a must-do thing. Um, but, I mean, this right here is just such a good defense. Now, let's talk about mesh, mesh post. Mesh post is one of the best man beaters in the game. Um, and the way they set it up typically is some variation of something like this with a C route. Okay. Now I want to be, this is the, the zone I want to basically play is a mid read. That's pretty much how I want to play with my user. So what you're going to see here is we're going to get this cross man action really nice. And you see that, I mean, where are you going with the ball? Okay. And especially if they're blocking somebody. So let's jump into replay and break this down. And what you're going to notice here is we have everything covered. The C route is bracketed to the left. The fade is going to be cross band really, really well. That safety might not look like he's going to be able to do much, but I promise you he will. He will be able to come over and play that. If you wanted to, you could, um, when they motion, you could man the slot cornerback up onto him, and then you could um, kind of tweak your coverage, if you will. Um, I think this is still the best strategy. Um I think this base coverage is still really good. The only route that even has a chance at getting separation is the post, and we're bracketing that with our user. So you see how effective this coverage defense is, uh, in my opinion. Guys, uh, Dollar is one of the best defenses in the game. It's certainly one of the best defenses of the game when you know how to user and adjust out of it. This main coverage is going to make your defense 10 times better in Madden 23. So if you want to learn the rest of the dollar three two six defensive ebook, make sure that you join my Patreon. The link to sign up is down in the description. So head on down to the description and go check out the Patreon page.